So Techland decided to add in a new alteration on Dying Light 2 and have all the ones that they could have added in. They add in a double XP one. And was it worth it at the end of the day? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, the countless times that I've played Dying Light 2, I didn't even know that you could sell half your stuff or legend points. I know, I've been playing this game for how long and I didn't know that. So basically for the video, it's just going to be me doing the whole gambling with the crates, talk about whatever is going to be in my bloody brain, and just play Dying Light 2 like a normal human being. Well, besides that, everybody, let's get into the video. Double XP alteration. With a double XP alteration, you'll be able to max out all your skills and legend levels faster. So you get all of that for double. You know what? It's good enough for me. What's up, everybody? My name's Jonathan, and welcome back to some more Dying Light 2. And for today's video, I decided to go back into Dying Light 2 for the double XP alteration, of course. And I saw this comment the other day of somebody putting down, hang on, let me find the comment quickly. Ah, here it is. This comment said, use meal tech or samples or trophies you can trade for all legend points. I think they meant four legend points. So I'm going to see how many of that stuff I've got and see how many times I'm going to level up through there. Well, besides that, everybody, like what I say on all my videos, make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 2,500 subscribers. And man, the love and support recently on this channel has been absolutely insane. So once again, everybody, I'll shut up. Let's continue off with the campaign and bing bada boom will be a-okay. Yes! Yes! God damn, every time they always ask me with event. Oh yes, I'm going to play without the event because I'm stupid. Hello, shit, it's getting hot in Australia. Oh my god. Why is my mic always crooked every time I move it and all of a sudden it goes blur? Okay, so where the heck do I, how do I do this quickly? Um, ah. So I've got all of these things here. I guess I don't really know what I'm doing. Hey, you know what? Let's just go to a cellar or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah. You know what's the one thing that still really boggles me on how fast this year has or basically been? Like, god damn everybody. Like, I was uploading videos at the beginning of the year and all of a sudden I'm back here in bloody October. Like, it's just crazy of how fast time goes, man. I'm sitting here like I'm still playing Dying Light 2. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in here and hope for the bears. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is when I realized I stuffed up because you actually have to go to to a craftsman. So that was a waste of five minutes of my life. Ah, crap. Visit a craftmaster to exchange this for legend points. Okay, hang on. God damn it. Every goddamn time I'm trying to do something, this game's like, nah, go and get fucked. Sorry, you want to really think about what you want to do in your spare time, I don't really know what the fuck I'm going to be doing, but you know what? It's A-OK. -okay. Okay, so let me go to the freaking whatever heck we at the what? <laughs> Aha, there it is. There we go, legend points. Wonder how many times I'm going to level up. So I'm level 81 at the moment. You know what? Let's see how it goes. So of course I exchanged everything that I had and yeah, the leveling up was sort of a little bit disappointing, but I can't really say anything about it because, I mean, it's only XP. Well, goddamn, 80 Seven. Well, that was definitely uh, <laughs> yeah about that. I don't know if that was even worth my goddamn time. Hmm. Okay. So after doing all of that, what should we do now? Should we continue off with a mission or you know what? Let's go and play gamble and do on like two, shall we? Nah, that's absolutely terrible. Nah. Hang on. What? <gasps> Is there any way that I can just use all of them? Nah. That's my luck, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. These were not even worth showing. I don't even know what's even the point, man. Like, there's so many weapons on here that I don't even use. Oh, the buddy same. Oh my god. Stop giving me the same shit. I didn't have any space anyway. So I don't know what the hell's the point of doing all this shit. I do mean it's one way to probably get more of the mutations and whatever and give it more XP, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> Maybe I made the title JonathanGambling.com.au. I can't believe that this whole time I did not know that you can actually sell all those for legend points. This entire time I've been playing Dying Light 2 for over Blade two years now. I didn't even know that. And god damn, I thought I knew a lot about Dying Light 2. I guess not. <laughs> okay, so after doing that for almost 10 minutes, it wasn't even worth it at the end of the freaking day. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but hey, at least I got some more mutations for more XP, I guess. Yeah, it's quite hard to talk about this alteration where it's only double XP. <laughs> okay, after all that gambling, I got absolutely shite. Anyway, let's go in now. Uh, give more XP. Okay, do all of this. Beautiful. Oh, hell yeah. I only did one time. Hey, you know what? That's good enough for me. Anyway, what the heck are we going to do? Okay, let's go somewhere. <laughs> what the hell do we do now? I absolutely have nothing to really... Actually, what am I talking about? Got a lot of things to do. <laughs> the Angel of Villador. Enter the church of State Thomas. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> 
Has it just been me, or ever since when Dying Light the base has been announced, a lot more people have been talking about with Dying Light, but more, much more than what previously it was like. It was like when I was talking about in my last video of Dying Light 2, how I might be playing this game in the future, maybe. I mean, it's very mixed at the moment, because the only time I really go back to Dying Light 2 is to do the alterations, and that's really it, to be honest. I mean, it's not a bad thing, God, no. But most of the time, I'm just like, yeah, I can play for like an hour or two, and that's really it, and I don't play this game for another, I don't know, week or something. And when they add another alteration, I go back to it. It's basically like what I do with Call of Duty, how I keep playing it. And when there's like a new event or battle pass, whatever the case may be, I go back to it and complete it off. Then I stop playing it after a while. So it's been a really bit mixed when you think about it. I do mean there are so many ideas that I can still do on Dying Light. Like, I keep talking about that I might want to go and do the Dying Light 1 on Nightmare difficulty, or even Dying Light 2's on Nightmare difficulty. But if you guys really want me to, like, do that, hey, why not show your support on the video? Basically, if you'd like to like the video, comment on the video, if you didn't subscribe, hey, or make me go, you know what, let's do it. Because I don't want to do something that a lot of my subscribers don't really want to watch, because I would rather make stuff that people want to see, even though I can upload whatever I want, which I've been doing on my channel. But hey, if you want to see anything like that, let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, how, how the fuck do I... Oh, up here, yeah, hang on. Hey, every goddamn time I try to do a mission, I could play sidetracked and go start doing all this other shit. But to be honest, it's gone to the point now that I'm just getting really excited for the next Dying Light game. I really do hope that Dying Light the base is going to live up to hype because I don't want another Dying Light game to flop. I can't really say anything from my studio's point of view because I think they might say, oh, Dying Light 2 did really well. I can't really say anything because I don't really know anything like that. But when you look at the community, they always say that Dying Light 2 is is not a good game. Didn't really live up to the hype. Dying Light 1 is better. Which everybody has an opinion. Don't get me wrong. But for me, when I look at Dying Light 2, the game's good. I enjoy playing it. Even though that's the main thing about video games nowadays is you play what you really enjoy. And they have improved over the years, which I really do give credit for. And they have improved over the years, which I really give Techland credit for because they're bloody good at what they do. But not leaving the game and actually supporting it properly. Basically just giving a thumbs up. Like, yeah, well done, guys. Because I usually play a game if I know it's going to be really good in the future because you see me play all the other games and i know that they're not going to be good in the future so i only play it until i complete the game off and I never play the game again it was like that with star wars outlaws dustborn and that test drive game because i don't know what the hell happened to that piece of crap but my god man i do read the comments every single day on people talking about with dying light 2 even on my older videos on dying light 2 and damn some people can really be mean online i mean it's youtube what can you expect i don't let any of that stuff get to me because I'm like, I'll just upload what I want to do and I'll enjoy it. I always learn from everything I do with the editing, the photoshopping, whatever. And it's just a learning process, well, basically for me. I can definitely tell that a lot of people enjoy my content. And at the same time, if you guys ever see something that's not right, please let me know in the comments. Because if I know if I stuff something up, I don't want it to affect everybody who's watching the video or even different ideas on games because sometimes I know a lot of people do put the comments down on, you should play this game, you should play that game. Yeah, the only problem about that is I uh, don't really have the game and the console for it. So sometimes that's why I post up on the community post on what game do you want to see me play, on the games that I actually do have. You know what? It's just one step at a time. I do gotta say, we've got quite a lot of videos on the way. I mean, we've got a couple of Call of Duty videos. we even got a BO6 video on the way when BO6 does come out. We also have the game A Quiet Place coming out as well. That's gonna be really interesting because of the whole microphone thing that they were talking about. So yeah, even though we have only got like two more months of the year, it's still quite a bit that I'm going to be doing for the channel and hey 2025 is around the corner and I cannot wait to do more with the videos and we'll see what happens from there. Take the whiskey and think about what we're going to do. Uh -oh. There we go. Thank God. <laughs> Open that up and haul for the best. Uh, 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 uh. My god, is this the 1990s? Oh my god, no way. Heck, do I not know how to do half of the stuff and I've been doing this for how long now? Man, most people think I'm stupid. Oh man, you're not wrong. <laughs> is you're absolutely correct. Oh, come on, yes, bingo. I really do wish there was more to talk about with Dying Light 2. I mean, that's really it. I did say that they were talking about being some stuff in from the E3 reveal, but that's basically it. Like, it's really hard now to talk about different things with Dying Light like too. I mean, I know I could do different challenges and whatever, but sometimes you just can't be bothered. But if I did upload videos all the way back in 2022, it would have been a different story of doing all the freaking different missions and whatever. I didn't upload anything back then, so it was a different story.
boy. I just played the game for fun. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't really have a look. Do I? Do I? Oh, hang on. Yeah, air vents. Why do the survivors always have much more better stuff than the bloody peacekeepers? Well, I can clearly see on Twitter that a lot of people are getting fed up with Dying Light 2. Especially with this alteration, people are saying, we don't want this. We want a real event, which I don't blame people because it would be cool if we had a whole community event so you can unlock cool shit. And some people are also getting pissed off because I read this one from Marcus Parton saying five years of recycled events. And I swear to God, if they do that for the next five years of the same events over and over again, that is going to be such a pain in the ass. So no wonder why a lot of people are so mixed on Dying Light 2. Then you get me right in the middle like, hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day and night. I'm playing Dying Light 2 when I feel like it. That's why I always upload Dying Light 2 videos in between different videos. Then I realized that you can actually do the marathon events and my god man, the XP on that is so much more better. And I still leveled up quite a bit more, but it's not really quite impressive when you think about it. Oh, look at that. Wow, that was... <laughs> That's definitely one way to level up quickly. Oh my god, man. I wonder if they're gonna do a Halloween event on this. They've gotta do that. Come on. They fought a Halloween event? Oh my god, mate. Come on. Now we'll just wait for the bloody Christmas event. Remember doing that one last year? That was fun. Hey, go. Go, you dick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Yes, baby. Yeah, I shut my ass. <laughs> there we go. I got platinum on all of them. Wow. Damn, dude. That is an easy way of leveling up. I mean, if you're playing this game right now, try and level up as fast as you can if you really want to level up your character. Because for me, I don't really see any point of doing it. But you know what? I'm just doing it because I'm going to do it. Anyway, before I end this video off, let's do some whack a ball season, shall we? Whack a ball. <laughs> hey, guys. Whack a ball. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Fuck off. Fuck off, mate. Soup. Hey, zombie. <laughs> Well, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. And yeah, this whole alteration is just a double XP, so it wasn't really any special compared to the other alterations that I've done before. And yeah, it was just me doing the whole gambling, talking about whatever I was, I was thinking about, basically, and just going through there. Well, besides that, everybody, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. Make sure you subscribe, and hey, also like the video, share the video, check out my social medias down in the comments down below. Well, besides that, everybody, have a wonderful day and night. I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, I do wonder sometimes, man, about with Dying Light 2's alterations. Like, they're good, but they do get quite boring after a while, so hopefully, maybe down the track, we might get better ones. I mean, Techland, if you're watching this right now, I really do hope for the best for all of you, but can we please get better alterations? <laughs> okay, I'm going to bed.